Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create a gaming thumbnail. If you guys would like more of this type of video or just more content in general, feel free to subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys based on the thumbnail. I'm going to go over the things I did, why I did them, and let's start off with the most important part. Why gaming? Why the, as I remove all of these layers, by the way, let's start off with the most important part, which is why this is important at all. What separates a gaming thumbnail from a regular thumbnail. And that would be like the iconic character, whatever, that you see. Iconic character, iconic things. You won't let the viewer know that they can find out information about this game. For both people that know of the game in general, they're like, hey, I recognize that character, I'll click on it. Then you'll have people that don't know about the game at all, then they're like, hmm, that character looks interesting. I'm going to click on it. So here's exactly what it is. This is what I started with, okay? This is my typical thumbnail, okay? This is my typical background, as you may notice on a lot of my videos right now, this is the typical thumbnail. I first started with this. Let me select this. It let me transform it. That's why it looks so weird, because I held down control or, I mean, command if you're on Mac and played around with these and you know it controlled it just the way i wanted and that's how i got that cool slant effect now this was too bright for my font because i like to use white font for a lot of stuff if i can because it stands out quite a bit so all i did here was um apply a brightness layer you know go here go to brightness and contrast and specifically i turned the contrast up to 20 brightness negative 28 you know so it's not too dark but you know it gives it that darker sleeker feel to it and then after that the next Thing you want to do, which I actually have a video on this, feel free to check it out. I applied a glow. Okay, I'm skipping a little bit ahead. I applied something before the glow, which is the character. The character that you're showing off is very important. Actually, you might want to label the layers so you don't have to spend forever finding certain layers and stuff. So, you know, layer them appropriately. This is what the character looked like initially, okay? With no changes whatsoever. You can usually go on Google or something and search for a PNG of whatever character you want, whatever iconic character. Now you could custom draw a character, have a character custom draw, whatever. Just find something that's iconic, put it on. And, you know, we got you know, fancy it up a bit, if you will. So, next what I did is I created a little glow effect around. Um, again, there will be a card top right in corner. Click the eye because I made a video about how to do this exact glow effect. Um, 
So, yeah, basically I used the brush tool and made the glow effect. And then I duplicated that layer two times so I could add some extra oomph to the glow. Um, and, of course, I turned down the opacity a lot on the third layer, so it wouldn't drown everything out too much. The reason I even added orange instead of green, because you technically can go with green just fine. But I added orange because orange fits in the theme of my channel. This is what it would have looked. I did play around with green at first though. As you can see, this is green. But orange is, you know, kind of the theme of my channel at this point. So I went with orange. But that doesn't really, it's not totally math, is it? Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's just some details, minor details. It looks good the way it is. Well, yeah, it looks fine the way it is. But the thing is that it could look better. Like, let's see, first I changed the eyes. So now the eyes match the glow entirely. And then I changed this. You, um, I'll uncheck and check it again, okay? So, first of all, how I changed the eyes, I just added the brush on a different layer and then used hue in this blending mode. Now, it's important to do all this stuff on different layers because you might need different blending modes for all of them. If you mess up, you can delete the layer, redo it, no problem. So make sure you're doing all this on different layers. So, yeah, let me show you. Okay, so this. You, I don't know if you can see anything changing, but this area right here. This and this. These are changing as I enable this. Now, the reason I did that, because details, very important. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's super small. They won't see the detail anyway. Well, the detail like that, um, you know, people subtly do pick up on from time to time. Even if it's like a super subtle detail, if it's pleasing to the eye, people will be more likely to click on it. And then next, the hair. We want to do a thing with the hair, so we did. I actually didn't think the hair would turn out, but it did. At DOT, you can actually do extra stuff, like if you want to go more into detail, you can always zoom in. And, you know, as you see, we didn't initially, but if you wanted to, you could, you know, just zoom in quite a bit and, you know, just fix it up a bit. Um, so make sure you're on the right layer. No, well, and then fix it up, you know, like make this eye more visible so you can actually see it. And then, you know, after you're done, there you go. It's fixed up. It's, yeah, done that very well. And then, after that, we are pretty much done after this. This is closer to the image that you guys saw in the beginning. Um, so, in order to add the final touch, it would be the you know, gaming and the channel, okay? 
So that's what it is. But I'm gonna make a little bit different um change to what you guys saw initially. We're going to change this to thumbnail. And I know what you're thinking, but isn't it going a little over? Well, that's where we would in change select both of these. And then we will go here. Hold this here. Hold down shift so we can move everything along. And then, you know, gaming thumbnail but we can actually do one better than that technically if we wanted to which we do want to we want to move the gaming and the thumbnail layers be above so yeah we can do that so there we go with that, it's a little above there. And perfect, that's how we got our gaming thumbnail. That's the exact thumbnail that you guys are going to be seeing and that you clicked on. And then, you know, you just save it. Now, I recommend when you're saving the thumbnail, you go to File and then you go to export then save for web legacy okay the reason that's important because youtube and some other sites only let you especially youtube only lets you upload a thumbnail with a max of two megabytes at the time of making this video so if you save it for web legacy, what will happen, if you save it for web, what will happen is it will save it as a smaller, you know, file size. So you'll be able to upload it, no problem. And yeah, hopefully this helped you in some way, shape, or form. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.